Hello, my name is Andy Satterland for Tuts Plus, and I'm going to teach you how to work double knitting. And we're going to start with a tubular cast on. It makes a really nice edge, and we're going to just make a slip knot to begin with. And you don't have to worry about being pretty because it's not going to be counted as a stitch. I'm just going to pop that on our needle, and we're going to bring our yarn. We're going to insert our index finger and our thumb between these two strands, and this is what we're going to be working from. You're not going to come down like for a long tail cast on, you're just going to work with these two. So we're going to go underneath the blue, around and over and under the yellow, and there's our first stitch. And we're going to repeat that doing the opposite to create the second. So we're going to go underneath the yellow, around and over the blue, and bring it back under, and there's our second stitch. And for double knitting, we're going to work in pairs. So if your chart has four stitches on it, that means you're actually going to need four pairs of stitches, which is eight in total. So here I've got two pairs on my needle. I'm going to show you how to cast on again. You're going to go under the blue, around and under the yellow, and then bring it through. And then doing the opposite, we're going to go under the yellow, around and over and under the blue, and bring it through. And we're just going to continue like that until we have enough pairs of stitches. So now we have nine pairs of stitches, which is how many we need. And uh, the reason why you need pairs of stitches instead of thinking of them as individual stitches, is uh, we're going to end up with all the blue on one side and all the yellow on the other side of our knitting. And um, so it's going to look like we have nine stitches, but we really have 18. And so after you've cast on that last stitch, you want to be careful that it doesn't slip off because it's really easy to um, lose it. So we're going to hold the yellow carefully as we turn our work. And we're just going to hold it with our thumb for a minute. Grab our second needle and we're going to start our first row. The very first stitch, we're going to hold this yellow here. And then we're going to knit through the back of our knit stitch. As you can see, our knit stitch is mounted, uh, slanted the wrong way. So if we knit through it normally, instead of knitting through the back loop, we'd end up with a twisted stitch, which isn't what we want. So now that we've knit through the back loop with that first stitch, we can grab our yellow, because that's secure now. And we're going to hold these two strands together at all times even though we're only going to knit and purl with one strand at a time. So we're going to bring these to the front and purl through the yellow using the yellow strand of yarn. We're going to bring both of these back and then knit through the back loop with just the blue. And we're going to continue like that until we reach the end of the row. Purl with just the yellow bring them both to the back, and knit with just the blue. So we've knit and purled all of our pairs, and we just have this slip knot left. And as I said before, this isn't going to become a stitch, so we can just drop it off our needle and pull it out, and uh, our cast on will stay in place because we've already worked all these stitches. So then we can turn our work. And now we're ready to do the next row. So we first want to twist our yarns. We're going to bring the blue across the yellow, and then we can just knit that first stitch. The reason why you want to twist the yarn at the beginning of the row is that's what keeps you from having um, two separate pieces of knitting joined at the cast on edge. You really need to make sure to remember to twist your strands. And then we're going to Purl the blues with the blues, and knit the yellows with the yellows, doing the opposite of what we did on the previous row. And um, when you bring your yarn to the front or the back, you want to make sure you don't twist it. The only place you want to twist your yarn is at the beginning of the row. If you twist it while you're working, you might end up with some lumps, and lumps aren't pretty.
And as you can see, it's starting to come together and you can see that the yellow stitches are all on one side and the blue stitches are all on the other and it's a little narrower than normal knitting would be. So we're going to purl, bring both to the back, knit, bring both to the front, purl. All right, so we're going to work the last pair and finish up this row. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to do another twist to secure our yarn at the beginning of this row and we're just going to work across again. And really that's the basics of double knitting. We're going to keep knitting and purling when we're doing just a plain solid color like we are right now. You're always going to work the blues and blues and you're always going to work the yellows and yellows and you can just read your knitting to see what you should be doing. Um, you can see this yellow purl ridge here in between all the blue stitches and the blue stitches are nice and straight so we know to purl the yellow because we've got the ridge and knit the blues and in our next video we'll get to some more complex double knitting we'll start with some shaping first and then move on to working from a chart <laughs>